Royal Mail is considering a Bing collection style website to help cut its service. We're going to read into this more from the independent, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with an article from The Independent with the headline that Royal Mail is considering a Bing collection style website to help cut its services. The company was fined £5.6 million last year after delivering 80% of its first class posts on time. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. So... While Royal Mail and letters and whatnot are becoming more and more a thing of the past as more and more people turn to email and internet and whatnot when it comes to these things, which is totally understandable that we are becoming more reliant on social media and, and the, the World Wide Web when it comes to uh, information a lot more now than it is obviously by, by letters and posts and whatnot, which is totally, totally acceptable. Um, <clears throat> what's quite frustrating is that to me is that because Royal Mail is owned by a private company, they're, they're the number one priority for them is just about making profit, uh, making it efficient. It is still very, very important. Now, yes, some people will argue that the that older that the older society, older generation still rely still needs to rely on it. And yes, I agree. We still have a generation where people of people uh, still have a generation of people who don't know how to use it in there, don't know how to use social media and whatnot. And that they still need that 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 those letters and what lots and, and stuff. So that that service still needs to be there for them. But here's the other thing as well that's really important that why we still need to make sure that Royal Mail is delivering um its letters and whatnot. There are some things that you just can't there are just some things that you need to have a letter or you need a confirmation of something. You need to have a bill, uh or or what there are certain things you, you need to have a letter for. You need to have that proof of information. And sometimes an email is not enough to verify as a proof of information. <clears throat> uh, especially if you want something delivered to you, parcel and whatnot. It is still a very important service. You need to have Royal Mail at some kind of capacity. Now, do I agree that it should be uh, cut down a little bit? Um, part of me does, but a part of me feels like I don't know if, if we're quite ready to cut it down to the levels that they want to. Um but I am intrigued by what, what people will think about this whole Bing collection option that they're looking to impose. Um, so what is this, this this idea that Royal Mail are considering? So Royal Mail is considering launching a, a Bing, style, uh, Bing collection style service on their website for households to track which days their mail will be delivered in a bid to cut back on services. So the company has suggested reducing its second class deliveries to alternative weekdays, cutting nearly a thousand jobs and saving 300 million pounds a year. It has been reported that 507 year old company has proposed a service where customers can input their postcode to discover when their letters and packages are due. Um, <clears throat> that's a good, that could be a, a very good reliable source of information for people to want to know where and when their, their letters or packages are due. That is something that I would definitely have no problem with them setting up, I don't think. I'm still not happy about any kind of job losses there. A senior industry source had told The Guardian that the idea that it would work in the same way as Bing collection sites, anything Royal Mail can do to show its cuts can be done smoothly and the service can be more predictable and reliable can convince Ofcom. So the regulator Ofcom is studying the proposals that it said last week that second class letter deliveries could be scrapped on Saturdays. <clears throat> in the three months to June the 30th of June, Royal Mail delivered less, less than 80% of first class posts on time, with Ofcom fined it 5.6 million last year for missing delivery targets. The industry source added, those who rely on the service will be typically older people who are not connected to the internet and check when their deliveries are due. Also, if this list uh, if this lists when the post is supposed to be delivered, that's not a guarantee that the delivery will happen given the current state of the service. He added that, the, uh, that for the fine uh, for failure last year had been too small and that the company should not be allowed to reduce service without providing reliability. Yeah. Fines don't do anything if they're still making lots and lots of money. Spokesperson, a Royal Mail spokesperson had told the Guardian ahead of the potential reform of the Universal Service, Royal Mail is exploring a range of options to ensure customers have the information they need at their local postal service. Yeah, it is important, obviously, the local postal service, obviously, as well. But 
<clears throat> this is a service that still is very vital and still needs to be looked after. And a part of me does feel like that they're trying anything and everything just to reduce it to as much as they possibly can so they can maximize the most money, as would any private company. But <clears throat> it has it has struggled in, in along uh, as well, Royal Mail. But I, I really don't like that it's in the hands of a private company because it, it just feels like the end of the day you know they're, they're going to make it as difficult as possible uh as it is try to cut back as much as they possibly can for, for for the for the meaning of making more money in their pocket that's how i feel but as for this bin collection service a part of me feels like yeah that could work if people know when some certain thing is coming or whatnot um that could be helpful to them i suppose uh, but if it doesn't turn up on the day and it disappears from the website. I don't know if they could chase it up and whatnot, <clears throat> because it's very difficult to chase up a chase these things up. But it'll be interesting to see. That's for sure, you guys. But what do you guys honestly think? What do you guys make of Royal Mail considering the Bing Collection Star website to help cut its servers? They wanted to change, uh, reduce the amount of second class second class letters as well to try and cut basically lay off a lot of workers and make more profit. How does this make you feel about it? Let me know your thoughts and more about Royal Mail down in the comments section below. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so others are not fight of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. And if you want to go one step further, financially support me and the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p or join me on Rumble or Patreon for exclusive content on those platforms. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.